Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Interjections 138. The interjection today is shush. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. <clears throat> if someone says shush, it is another way to tell someone to be quiet or keep quiet. Uh, the term shush is an onomatopoeia that is connected to sh. Uh, having the same meaning and the same use. So a lot of times we tell people to be quiet, you often hear shh. Now remember, an onomatopoeia is when you spell out a word like the sound. So that's why shh is spelled S-H-H, because it's shh. If you tried to put that into letters, that's what it would look like. So shush is the same way. It's an onomatopoeia. So when we say shush, shush, you know, we'll probably say it like that. Sometimes we say it in like half a whisper too. Shush. Uh, so that's the way it would be spelled. All right, let's continue. And we got five examples to show just how it is used. Here's the first one. When that boy started to talk in church, uh, his mother gave him a stern look, you know, a serious look, and told him, shush, like no talking in church. Uh, number two, as we were talking in the movie theater, the person uh, in the seat in front of us turned around and told us to shush. We are trying to listen to the movie. Okay. Or number three, shush. We will talk later. I want to hear his speech. Maybe somebody was giving a speech and somebody else was trying to talk to that person and they're like, not now. I, I want to hear what he has to say. All right. Number four, that librarian told those noisy children, shush. No talking in the library. Or, you know, they're probably making too much noise, too loud. And number five, shush. Don't say such things. All right. So, this is just the way you may hear it used. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.